pulled me back, and that's where I went. I just took off from there. With the right technology, the right operation, you know, the right people, the right PT, the right everything, then, then you can achieve uh, more than you really what you thought you can. After Boston a couple years ago, my knee locked up on me, and I went down in, in Phoenix and had some MRI done, some x-ray done, like I told you before. And, and they come back and said, okay, you're bone on bone, you're gonna need a knee replacement. And they said, well, if we, if we, if we do that, you're not, probably not gonna be able to run anymore, you're gonna have to take up golf. Well, I wasn't a golfer and, and I wasn't dead yet, so I'm like, okay, what, what else am I gonna do? I started searching around and, and found one of Dr. Stone's blogs on running on knees. And I searched that out, searched that out, and read all that kind of stuff. I started reading everything I could and reading everything I could. And then, uh, and then uh, I was fortunate to have a consultation with Dr. Stone and he said, send me your x-rays and your MRIs, and I said, let me see what we can do. He said, because with the proper, the proper surgery technique and the proper PT afterwards, precise this and precise this, that starts the road for, for what we think you think you can accomplish. So I was sold. Oh, well, that's uh, why I came, and uh, it's been, um, it's been uh, uh, the best thing yet. So um, I had my, you know, after about a week into surgery, after surgery, I didn't know if I was gonna, I mean, the, the pain and everything else, but, Literally, I had my crutches off in a week, and, and I'm walking really good, and I'm walking the beaches in San Francisco, and the knee was feeling good, and, and uh, so, you know, he gave me the okay to start running on it at three months, and there I was, no stopping me now. I got through the surgery, and about 13 days out, got my sutures out today, and my knee's feeling great, and so I'm looking forward to uh, finishing up the physical therapy, and then come back in a month, they'll do some checking i'll come back in three months and i'll do a physical test there and then if i um, if i'm ready then after three months and i can start some training and i've got some pretty pretty lofty goals i love uh, trail racing with xterra and then i've got a, uh, uh, a goal in september to do a hundred miler motivation was to continue on with what I wanted to do and I think there's a lot of people out there that really no matter what what you're doing no matter what sports you're doing if it inspires you to continue then um, then search all options before you decide you're not going to do it anymore and that's what I did and I was so pleased that I found that you can accomplish a lot more than what you think you can if your mind is correct and, and your ambition is there and uh, you're strong-willed, and, um, and so I, I would just suggest for some people to really just get excited about um, um, having it done, no matter what part of your body you have to fix, but, uh, but, uh, but don't give up on your dream. I think sometimes life in general is, is, is we, we limit ourselves a lot of times, and then pretty soon we, we just become mediocre, and, and our lives just become at a standstill of mediocrity, and I think we can rise above mediocrity. Others can do the same thing, so if there's anybody else out there that, that, that got a physical uh, disability of some type, there's always something that can be done. You just have to search for the right, search for the right tools and talk to the right people and don't give up on your dreams. That's just, um, um, you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm.